Occasionally, errors occur at runtime. Some examples of these are attempting to open a file that doesn't exist, trying to divide by zero, or getting a bad input from the user. These generate exceptions, which are said to be thrown by the Java environment. If the exception is not handled or caught, then the program will terminate with a message. In the class bad input, we are expecting the user to input an integer value. If we instead type a string, then the program halts displaying that an exception, input mismatch exception, was thrown along with information on where the error occurred in our program. In this case, we see that the exception occurred in methods inside Java Util and was called from line 7 of our program. Java uses try catch blocks to handle exceptions. An example of this is in the class handle bad input. Code that might throw an exception, in this case the call to next int, is placed inside a try block. If the exception occurs, code execution immediately jumps to the catch block and continues from there. In this case, it skips the print line saying you entered. If no exception occurs, the try block runs to completion and the catch block is skipped. To handle bad user input, it is desirable to use a loop to keep asking the user until they enter a valid input. The class input validation shows an example of this. We are expecting the user to enter an integer number from 0 to 100. We'll use a dual while loop to keep asking the user for a percentage until they enter an integer from 0 to 100. The do while loop is the same as a while loop, except that the test occurs after the first iteration and at the end of each iteration, instead of before each iteration. Inside the try block, we call nextint to read a number from the keyboard. If the input is not an integer, it jumps down to the catch block, where we print an error message and call next to get rid of this bad input. If an integer is entered, we then test to see if it is valid. If not, we print an error message and the while condition will cause it to loop back and ask again. We now run the program, first entering a string, then an invalid number, and finally a good input. 